I just love this perfume. I spoke about it when I first got it, but uh, honestly. So it is Tuesday. Firstly, thank you everyone for your lovely comments on last week's video. And making me feel like less of a stupid person for leaving the buggy in the middle of the road and having to buy a new one. It was so nice of you all to share your stories with me of other stupid acts that you or people you know have done. And it seems like that happens a lot. Whether people put handbags on the top of their car, put the kids in the car and drive off with their handbag on the top. Which actually my auntie did after I told her about this story. She said, I drove off with my handbag on top of the car. Many of you have said that you know or yourself have left buggies, even left children in aisles of supermarkets. I, we're all in solidarity when it comes to um, having a lot of balls in the air and sometimes things drop. So there we go. Good morning, it's Tuesday. And we are starting our week today. I'm just getting ready because I just need to pop to Sally's um, to go and get, I'm meeting a friend for lunch and she wants me to get some super size shampoo and conditioner for her from Sally's. So I'm gonna to pop to do that and then I'm meeting her at Cafe Bo, I never know how to say it, Cafe Boheme or Cafe Bohem. <laughs> anyway, we're going there, which is lovely. I've been there many a time and I love it. So we're going there for lunch and so I've just got myself ready. Um, I'm wondering if I might have a time to pop into weekday when I'm in, I need to put something on my lips, when I'm in Central, that's where we're, that's where Cafe Boheme is. I'm wondering if I might have time to pop to weekday to get some new bras, because I love weekday for bras. Hang on, let me just put my, let me just put some lips on. Yes, so I'm going to Sally's to pick up some shampoo and conditioner for my friend, and then we're gonna go into London and meet her. Botox is starting to kick in. We've got, the, it's these bits here. Zara, who did my Botox, mentioned, like, keep an eye on those, and if they don't go, then I can go back. So there we go. Was I going to, oh yeah, this is what I'm wearing. Um, just an Arquette grey Pima cotton top. These trousers are from And Other Stories. I bought them, I think in the sale, eight, like before I had Elliot. I think in between Elliot and Gabe I bought them and they fit. They didn't for a while and they do now. Um, and I'm very happy because I love them. They're very high-waisted, but they're like a tailored trouser and you can see they're kind of tapered towards the bottom. So I roll them up and then no Vesta trainers and then I will wear that with my Beyond 9 jacket. And yeah, right, let's go to Sally's. Here we are, Sally Beauty secured the goods right so also the most amazing thing about it is this zoomed in my friend likes maria neela so i got her the repair shampoo and conditioner she's sharing it with her flatmate but i didn't even realize that it was on offer so i just went in thinking it will be about 72 i think for both of them it's quite expensive but they are a thousand milliliters so it does last it was buy one get one half price so it's 54 pounds so I just messaged my friend and said, I've struck a deal for you, babes. You're welcome. Next station is Clapham Junction. Been a very quiet and other stories, which is always a joy. So I'm gonna try on these three jumpers. I came in hoping that there was more in here. I saw some things online, but there's not really much here. Um, but I have seen this jumper online specifically that I wanna try on, so. That's a great tote. We just popped out and other stories because there isn't there used to be one in my town and there isn't anymore. And I like and other stories, but I find it's really windy, so I don't know if you can actually hear me. I find the fit very hit and miss. So if I see something I like, I want to try it on. And I saw loads of jumpers on their website, but I wanted to see if they did them in store but Then I found there, there was none. There was one, that black one that I did really like. I'll probably go home and order online. And I think I've got just enough time to quickly run to weekday and see if they've got any bras, because I need new bras. It is the next day. Yesterday, I didn't really vlog much at lunch. <laughs> and then came home and things got slightly chaotic and something crazy happened last night whilst I was watching Mr and Mrs Smith, which we're gonna sit and talk about, but first, Elliot's just gone down for a nap and I need to just get the kitchen sorted and make myself a coffee. I, I had a feeling today is just gonna be like just randomly chaotic. I've got this L'Oreal event this evening that I'm going to, which I'm so excited about. I mentioned it in my last vlog, first like, bougie kind of fancy event I've been to probably since I had kids. It's in London at a restaurant called Louis and it's celebrating 
the launch of a mascara that Kendall Jenner is the face of and it's like a dinner and then an after party so it's quite a big event it's not just like a turn up kind of launch oh hi it's like a nice kind of function so I'm really looking forward to it but because of that I'm a bit like on high alert because Hainsley's just gone out to meet a friend so he's out for the bulk of the day Elliot's been a bit hit and miss with naps recently sometimes he wants to nap on me and he won't let me put him down as of now he has been put down so I have got some time but I like showered this morning did my everything shower so that when I get ready later when the kids are home and uh, Hazy's back home it's not so chaotic and I can just get ready and I haven't really got much to do I just need to judge my hair and put my makeup on basically and get dressed if I leave it later and I've got to shower dry my hair so my hair, it's just going to be too much I've done the bulk of what I needed to do but then I still have things that I want to do through Elliot's nap like film with you film a TikTok possibly eat <laughs> right let me just set the scene for you I don't know I don't know how to I don't know how to start this story whether to just give it away and then show you or whether to set the scene a bit. Some of you may have heard me talk about my lovely manager, Paul. And Paul is someone who has been with me since quite early on in my kind of YouTube influencer journey. We started talking and quite early on in my like YouTube career, he offered to manage me because he was starting his own agency. And I don't even know when this was. 2016, was it? Like maybe before then. So he's been with me ever since then. I'm quite a fair weather. I, I, would, I don't even call myself an influencer because I'm not, because I feel like I've always had a normal job and I do this for fun as a hobby. It's kind of peaked and troughed in terms of when I have monetized it or when I have worked with brands, but it's not something that is consistent enough for me to feel like it's something I can say that I am. Anyway, regardless of that, Paul has always, it's just an angel and he's always been really good because that hasn't really mattered. Like. When I've been busy and I've worked and I've got brand deals, he's done that for me. But equally, when I haven't been busy and I haven't been focusing on social or posting particularly consistently, he he's he's never been one to like pressure me to grow or to be consistent. He's just kind of there as and when it suits. And he's a very busy man. So <laughs> the fact that he genuinely supports me, it, he's just... Out above everything, he is just also a friend. And so that's a long-winded way of saying that Paul is an angel sent from heaven and I love him. So you may have heard me talk about him here and there. Outside of YouTube, I've been doing TikTok recently and that has grown and gained some traction and is something that is becoming thing that is worthwhile me focusing on and growing and building and using as a revenue stream to support my hair business. It's just something that I'm also really enjoying. So Paul has been working with me on that also. So it's because of that that I'm going to this L'Oreal um, event tonight. Paul messaged me a couple of days ago and was like, oh my God, this is so random. Flannels want to send you some trainers. And I was like, well, that is random, but okay, cool. Um, so he was like, what size shoe are you? So I said, size five. You may remember last week I mentioned about going to this event. I have no shoes to wear. I bought a pair of shoes. This pair of shoes is like a dupe, not a very good dupe of a pair of shoes that I actually would really love to replace these with eventually, which are Jimmy shoes. So last night, Paul messages me saying, oh, flannels are gonna be delivering to, I mean, you can probably see what, where this is going. Flannels are gonna be delivering to you between uh, half eight and half nine. And he messaged me because he knows me so well and said, are you gonna be asleep? <laughs> and I said, I can stay up for that. <laughs> Messaging me being like, oh, it's actually like 9.40, they're gonna be there. And I'm thinking, this is so funny that you've, you've got it tracked. Anyway, he then messages saying, oh, are they outside? They should be there. So I look and then I see this car pull up and just kind of sit there. So I was like, oh, okay, yeah, I guess I'll go out. I go out, open the back seat. He's like, you here to pick something up? I said, yeah, open the back seat. And this bag is sitting on the back seat. It's not a flannels bag, as you can see. So I then think, okay, that's weird. And I wish I'd been vlogging. I was gonna vlog and I didn't. And then I proceed to bring this package into my house. I take this out, you can see I've still got it wrapped. I take this out and this is the box that is in there. I then see an envelope. So before I open the box, I open the envelope and there's a very sweet card in there from Paul saying congratulations on TikTok and everything and also like see this as an early birthday present. Anyway, I think you can probably guess what's in here but I, I can't, it's such a generous and kind and thoughtful thing to do. Like that's just Paul, he's an, as I say, he's an angel. I still can't quite believe I, I'm going to show you these and that these are mine to keep. <laughs> and this is them. 
These are the Jimmy Choo Bing 100. These are the shoes that I bought the dupes of last week, which now when I look at them, <laughs> awful dupe. I mean, aren't they? <laughs> I can't, I can't believe it. Like my dream, like a pair of dream shoes for sure. I, I don't own a designer pair of heels. I really thought it was going to be a real like long shot for me to ever own a designer pair of heels or justify the spend on a designer pair of heels. Um, and now I have, I have a pair and I can't. I can't quite believe it and they're the most beautiful pair so I'm gonna put these on later and I will show you what they look like with my outfit because if I put them on now I've got joggers on and actually I tried them on with joggers last night and they don't look too bad <laughs> so stunning so hopefully first of many so now I'm, I'm gonna have to choose another pair of shoes to work towards buying for my 40th birthday which is fine another package to open with you I mentioned I got Botox last week and when I was there I got Zara who did my Botox to prescribe me some skincare. It was particularly retinol. So I, I mentioned I've got the Abaji 0.5 retinol which is prescription um, that I'm open to like anything that she can recommend. She doesn't love Obagi. She's like it's like I don't love that brand. She works with there's a few websites that I know like dermatologists and um, aesthetic doctors work with. The one she works with is called Get Harley. And so the way that it works is that she prescribes the skincare, it goes through this website that you sign up to and then that's how you pay for it and then that's where your prescription is so you can reorder product if you need to and they can kind of add more in. Um, but they basically have loads of different brands on there of prescriptive skincare so she can kind of pick and choose. She's not like married to one brand so she can pick and choose the best products from the brands. The first one is from Illumier and it's the Purifying Gel Cleanser. You might recognise the, that's Illumier, that's the name of the brand, Illumier MD. Alpharet Overnight Cream is the retinol so this is the Skin Better Science. You can see there, that's the name of it, Alpharet Overnight Cream. Wake up to brighter, younger looking skin. Thank you, would love to. I mean, this isn't prescription only, but it's Medicaid. I think if you we all know, I love Medicaid. This is their Calm Wise Serum. Soothing elixir for redness prone skin because I get rosacea here. So she prescribed that for me. Okay, it's a bit later. And I meant to film a lot more of me getting ready, but I just felt quite stressed out about it. So <laughs> I haven't got ready to go out for so long and I need to call an Uber and I'm worried about traffic. And I was just a bit like, this is too much. I wanted to film like a get ready with me for Instagram, but I just was too, like, I can't think about anything else except just getting ready and getting out the door. Also, mostly because I'm wearing forced eyelashes for the first time in, I couldn't tell you, 10 years. I just kind of jab them on with my fingers um, because I can't find my tweezers, so they don't look too closely at them, basically. Makeup is done, hair is done, outfits on. I haven't got my shoes on yet, but let me, let me show you what I'm wearing. Okay, here we go. Ellie's also just been non-stop crying since I've been upstairs, so that's also a bit stressful. Okay, so this is the outfit with the shoes. How's that? How's that looking? Am I Carrie Bradshaw? I feel like I am. In my shoes. I just think of her going, I lost my chew. And I mean, hopefully that won't be me tonight. But anyway, we are wearing a black um, cos shirt that's not black in between long and short sleeved. Very draped off the shoulder, drapes down here. I've kind of tucked it into the top of my Beyond Nine Cupro. These are the Yoli trousers. You can't really see in this light, but they've got um, like a pocket here. So they're a bit kind of like combat trousers. Is that what you call them? <laughs> and then they're gathered at the bottom. The star of the show is the Jimmy Choo's. Honestly, I absolutely love them. Can you see what I was going for now? If you weren't sure of the style, can you see how it kind of comes together just with an all black outfit and like a kind of semi-relaxed trouser? It kind of just dresses it up. I just love how like, like they're obviously very kind of sparkly and blingy and a bit special, but I just think they look great with this kind of relaxed outfit. And then I'm gonna take Chanel, which I want to get restored this year because it's a bit battered. Um, it's just whether, Chanel will fit everything in, but I feel like it's like I'd, I kind of carry it like that. I don't really carry it with the chains. Um, I like to carry it as like a clutch, um, just like this. And I feel like that looks quite nice. Um, so there we go. Mum's like, oh, she's ready. <gasps> okay, I need to see if my phone's charged, which I don't think it has. <laughs> oh God. Um, and then see about calling an Uber. And, and helps bring that luxury to the masses, which is what we always try to do with Royal Paris. Really brings to life our market leading claim. Oh, wow. <laughs> 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 
Oh, the best. It's just afternoon, it's like quarter past 12. Elliot's down for his nap, and I have just started to tidy the kitchen. And there's things that I need to do, but I kind of also just want to sit and not do anything. Last time I saw you was at the L'Oreal event, of which I didn't really, I don't think I took much footage. I had one too many glasses of champagne, and so yesterday was hungover. I, I mean, it wasn't awful. I was just more tired. I wasn't sicky or anything. I woke up feeling a bit like, ooh. Um, but I was actually just tired and I was very lucky because Hainsey was home yesterday. So I got up with Elliot in the morning. Hainsey took Gabriel to nursery and then when he got back, I actually went back to bed <laughs> until like midday. Yesterday wasn't awful. I was able to like have help with the kids. Um, but not really much vlogging content and honestly not really much today either because today's a bit of a nothing day. Hainsey's working so I'm solo parenting. He, well, we dropped him at the station this morning on the way to take go to nursery. As I say now, Elliot's napping. But we've had quite a fun morning of kind of surprise deliveries. The first one is this, Archive. This is a hair brand. I talk a lot about this brand on TikTok because they're such a good brand. They're available in boots. They're very reasonably priced. The hero product for me is the dry shampoo. It's incredible. And I don't want to say like I sell it out, but it's, it's always sold out when I talk about it. And people say to me like, I've tried to get this and it's always sold out. And the case, and I thought like, I think it's just because it's a really good dry shampoo and it's selling out. It was only in boots. It's now on Look Fantastic. Then posted about this on TikTok last night that it's on Look Fantastic and it has since sold out. So I don't want to be one of those people that's like, I'm, you know, am I selling this product out? But I'm kind of like, am I selling this product out? Quite, I'm in contact with the archive team because uh, they reach out to me since I talk about them quite a lot on TikTok and they're so lovely. Um, so they had sent me over a load of product. The Archive is a brand created by a hairdresser called Adam Reed, who's a really amazing hairdresser. They've also just messaged me because he has a salon. He used to be part of Percy and Reed, if you know that salon and those products. He's Adam, he's the Reed of Percy and Reed. And now he has Archive by Adam Reed as a salon and he's got product. Gorgeous branding, this is the dry shampoo in question. Such a good dry shampoo. It's £12 on Look Fantastic. I have a Look Fantastic discount code. I think I've already mentioned it in this video. You, well, I mean, you can't get it now because it's sold out, but I have it on good authority that there is going to be more stock beginning of March. But if you use my discount, you get it for £9. I haven't tried everything from the brand. I've tried a few, mostly styling products. So I'm really pleased to have their shampoo and conditioner. This is the all day, every day shampoo and conditioner. And I think they do a version for thicker hair as well. Dry texturizing spray. The Good Karma Cushioning Moisture Cream. I'm actually going to take this to the salon with me over the weekend. I've got a couple of girls that have got quite frizzy hair, so I'm going to try this on them. The Liquid Hairspray. And then the Future Youth Treatment Mask. Randomly, I just got a knock at the door. And it's from Way. I have never, ever, ever been sent anything from Way. I don't know how they got my address. How cool is this packaging? It's called the Hair Gloss. And yeah, how good is this? It's a shower. You can see it's steamy and then it's like someone's wiped it. But this is basically like a finishing product, I would say. So use your conditioner as you would and then finish with this. And this is like a gloss treatment. So there's no colour to it. It's clear, but basically a clear gloss that adds, well, is supposed to add incredible shine. So I talk a lot about the L'Oreal Wonder Waters. I don't know if anyone's used those. They're like a similar thing. They're kind of a conditioner, but very lightweight. You could use them as your conditioner if you have fine hair or as, like I say, like a finishing shine product if you have like thicker coarse hair and you need a proper conditioner but i just think that packaging is just so cool isn't it so yeah that's today <laughs> not much is really going on um and then i'm in the salon on saturday and sunday so i think i'm gonna get started on editing my hair looks awful i think i'm gonna get started on editing this vlog together and then we'll see where we are